Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about a previous year JEE question which was actually asked in the year of 2012 and from the chapter Electrostatic Potential and Capacitance Class 12 Physics. Let us see the question first. See the question is an insulating solid sphere of radius r has a uniform positive charge density rho there are two statements we want to determine uh, whether statement 1 is correct or statement 2 is correct or which one is the correct statement like that so the statement 1 is when a charge q is taken from the center of the surface of the sphere its potential energy changes by q rho by 3 epsilon 0 then statement 2 is the electric field at a point or at a distance r where r less than capital letter r from the center of the sphere is rho r by 3 epsilon 0 see the options are like statement 1 is true statement 2 is false statement 2 is true statement 1 is false or both the statements 1 and 2 are correct like that okay So let us see whether the statement one is a correct statement or an incorrect statement. See the statement one says that when a charge Q is taken from the center of the surface of a sphere, its potential energy changes by Q rho by three epsilon zero. See here I am considering a sphere of radius r and a charge density rho. Suppose this point, which is the center of the sphere, I am taking it as O. and i'm taking a point here uh, which is on the surface of the sphere that point is p okay so suppose a charge small letter q is taken from the center o of the sphere to the surface point p of the sphere then what will be the change in its potential energy whether it is q rho by 3 epsilon 0 or it is an incorrect statement that is what we are going to find out so you see the expression for the potential energy at the surface of a sphere potential energy at the surface of a sphere is given by this equation rho r square divided by 3 epsilon 0 similarly the expression for the potential energy at the center of the sphere it is given as rho r square by 2 epsilon 0 that means the potential energy at p potential energy sorry it is the potential potential at the surface of the sphere that is rho r square by 3 epsilon 0 and potential at the center is rho r square by 2 epsilon 0 we want to determine the potential energy so i am taking the potential at the surface of the sphere i am taking a point p on the surface of the sphere so this is a potential at p we see that is the potential at the center of the sphere here the center point is o so i am taking it as vo okay now now i am just taking the potential energy at p as up and potential energy at the center point o as uo okay then change in potential energy will be what up is the potential energy at a point p on the surface of the sphere U O is the potential energy which is at the center of the sphere. Change in potential energy can be written as U P minus U O. Okay, now you see what is this change in potential energy? It is actually the work done to move this charge from the point O to the point P. Okay, the change in potential energy U P minus U O. or this potential energy difference it is actually equal to the work done to move this charge from the center point o to the surface point p okay so here you see if i am taking the work done per unit charge that is wop by q then this becomes uo by q and this becomes up by q okay see potential energy at p divided by q potential energy per unit charge that will give you the potential at p potential energy at o divided by q that will give you the potential at o okay so we can write vp minus vo this is equal to work done to move a charge from o to p divided by q now you see from this equation 
we can write the work done to move the charge from O to P as Q into potential at P minus potential at O. Okay, so here you see what is this W O P work done to move a charge from O to P. This is actually equal to what U P minus U O. Okay, U P minus U O which is the potential energy change. Now let us just substitute the values of VP and VO to this equation. So UP minus UO which is the potential energy change. This is equal to Q into VP minus VO where VP is rho R square by 3 epsilon 0 minus VO is rho R square divided by 2 epsilon 0. Okay, this becomes equal to what? Q into then I am just multiplying both the numerator and denominator of the first term with the 2. Okay. And second term with the 3. So that the first term becomes 2 rho r square divided by 6 epsilon 0 minus 3 rho r square divided by 6 epsilon 0. Okay. Now you see we have the common denominator. So you can just add the numerator. So, this becomes Q into here 2 rho R square minus 3 rho R square. Okay, that will be minus rho R square divided by the common denominator 6 epsilon 0. So, you see the potential energy change when corresponding to the movement of the charge Q from the center point O to this point P. It is actually equal to what? Minus Q rho R square divided by 6 epsilon 0. It is not Q rho by 3 epsilon 0. So you see the first statement it is a wrong statement or it is an incorrect statement. Now let us see the second statement and check whether this is a correct statement or an incorrect statement. See statement 2 is the electric field at a distance R small letter R where the small letter R is less than capital letter R, where capital letter R is the radius of the sphere, from the center of the sphere is rho R by 3 epsilon 0. That is, suppose we are having a sphere, its charge density is rho, its radius is capital letter R, and here we are considering a distance R, where R is less than R. That is, here we are considering a point somewhere here, to which the distance from the center of the sphere is small letter r, where the small letter r is less than the radius of the sphere. That means the point we are considering, it is actually inside the sphere. So the electric field at a distance r, where r less than r means, it is the electric field inside the sphere. See, we know that for a solid sphere, the electric field, electric field outside the sphere is given by this expression, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, charge Q divided by R square and we have the expression for the electric field inside a solid sphere as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R cube into R where small letter R is the distance capital letter R it is the radius of the sphere. So this statement is electric field at a distance R which is inside the sphere, that is electric field inside the sphere of a sphere, it is rho r by 3 epsilon 0. So let us check whether this is a correct statement or not. So you see the expression for the electric field inside the sphere is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r cube into r. See, we know that the volume charge density rho, it is actually equal to charge per unit volume. Okay, that is charge per volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. That is you can write charge Q as rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube. So let us just substitute this value here. When we substitute this value here, this expression for the electric field inside the sphere, it actually becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. Q is replaced with rho 4 by 3 pi r cube into r is there in the numerator, 1 r cube is there in the denominator. So you see 4, 4 cancelled, pi, pi cancelled, r cube, r cube. So rest we have rho into r divided by 3 epsilon 0 as it is given in the statement 2. So statement 2 is a correct statement. 
So in this question, statement one is an incorrect statement, and statement two is a correct statement. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you.